Hello there. Welcome to AWS Tech Guide session today. Today, I'll be showing you how to use Docker Compose to manage your containers for PHP MyAdmin setup. In my past tutorial, where I have shown how to install and set up PHP MyAdmin, you may have seen that how to install MySQL, then PHP MyAdmin on Docker, and then start. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can use Docker Compose to manage the containers. So let's proceed. Basically, this is the video which is the continuation of PHP MyAdmin setup on Docker. So if you have not checked this particular video, how I have set up PHP MyAdmin, please check that first. Then you will get to know that what are the tasks actually you have to do. And then this is the video how to use Docker Compose. So I'm going back to my EC2 instance command prompt where as you see that I have two images only. One is MySQL and another is PHP MyAdmin. And let's check if there is any Docker process running. We don't have any Docker process running. Well, now here we will be creating one Docker Compose file. So I have that file already created. Let me show you. This is the Docker Compose file we will be using in this tutorial. And let me explain you. This is the version 3.7 and we have defined two services. One for MySQL DB, another for PHP MyAdmin. In MySQL, we have defined the image that is MySQL latest. We have mentioned the volume. Restart is always. So environment variable we have mentioned the MySQL root password, MySQL database, user and password and defined one network as Dockernet. The next service is PHP MyAdmin and the most important part is depends on. As you see depends on means your MySQL service first should be up or running and then it is depending actually for MySQL admin. MySQL image is latest, restart always. Port number we have customized to 8899. You can change it as you want. Environment PMA host as DB, that is the DB service, MySQL service. MySQL root password also we have mentioned. And the network is the same network which we have mentioned for MySQL DB also. So both the services are on the same network. Okay, so let's click on raw and we will copy this whole thing. Let's go to our command prompt and we are creating one docker compose.yml file. Simply just pasting and saving this. Okay, so we have this docker compose.yml file and simply now docker compose up dash d dash d is for making it a background process click on this well here it is showing that docker compose not found yes the reason is i forgot to install docker compose it means after you install your docker then mysql image and php my admin image if you are using docker compose you have to install docker compose explicitly so let's first install docker compose and if you have seen my past session then you know that how to install docker compose i will share the script in the video description definitely now to install docker compose just run this command to download the current stable version of docker compose sorry my typo it will be sudo then do a change mod Just check the version whether it has successfully installed docker compose or not so we have installed docker compose version 1.26.2 okay now let's run our command docker compose up hyphen d and as you see it started creating network volume then root db then php my admin both the services okay let's check the docker compose process so it is docker compose ps sorry it was my typo so it is docker 
compose ps and you see there are two services one for mysql db another for php admin are running so let's go to our ec2 instance now and i'm copying the ipv4 public ip okay and you know that we have kept the port for php my admin as double eight double nine and here we go our php my admin portal so let's put the password and we are logged in into php my admin so this is how very simply if you are using docker compose you can run the docker compose and if we check the docker process see there are two containers running one for mysql and another for php my admin now if you just stop this docker compose means you want to bring down your php my admin and the both the services it means that docker compose down again i did the typo docker compose down so it is stopping the php my admin then mysql db now let's check the docker processes and we don't have any containers running thank you for watching this video if you have any query please write in the comment box below i'll be happy to help you i'll be sharing the docker compose yml file and the github repository in the video description box thank you for watching